I think today uh, the church people are going to uh, really love this one I'm doing today. Um, and it's I'm decided to call it You Can't Make It Happen. And this is talking about my life in Christ as a verse, as opposed to uh, church people, uh, churchmen, clergymen, man's theological education, Bible-based education. And I'm starting to see a real dichotomy, a real difference uh, between people that really know the Lord and move in His Holy Spirit and the ones that uh, intellectually uh, assimilate and do behavioral modification and uh, power in their own uh, understanding and their own mind. And I think I'll just read uh, what I'm going to put on the bottom of this video today. It's called, You Can't Make It Happen, Christian Bible-Based Indoctrination Versus God Moving in Power in Your Life are two completely different levels of understanding. One is spiritual and the other is intellectual or theological. One is done by the Holy Spirit of God alone within us and the other by the flesh and outworkings of men. And um, as you can probably tell, I'm not a, uh, a great uh, student, a great intellectual, a great public speaker, or any of these things that the world uh, recognizes as power, as having power and authority and uh, uh, being a clergyman, um, uh, being recognized as, a, oh, he's a great minister or anything like that. I'm not any of these things that the world uh, recognizes um, for the most part in churches as being men of God, but rather I'm a simple man. I've worked around the waterfront all my life. I had learned disabilities. Um, I even had braces on my leg when I started off uh, in life, like Forrest Gump did. So I'm one of the foolish ones of the world. But the Bible specifically tells us that God uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. He has hid, hidden his truth from the rich and prudent from the establishment and revealed them unto babes and people that are humble in spirit. And this is what I wanted to talk to today, talk about today. Um, in my life, if you watch any of my videos, you've seen how the Lord has personally touched me. And I made the mistake of joining the churchmen, clergymen, and trying to discuss it with them. Uh, and most of them have no experience of these spiritual things simply because they do not walk with Christ. They have a head full of theology, a head full of proper doctrines uh, of how God works and how God doesn't work, of what the Bible says and what the Bible doesn't say. And that's fine. That's fine. But the Bible and that type of understanding is meant for God's people alone. And God's people alone uh, are people that have received him, have received their salvation through the Holy Spirit, through the Christ's atonement on the cross, and work, listen, move in him. These are God's people. And what I've come to discover is most Christians, who I thought were Christians, who claim the name of Christ, don't have the ability to walk in the Lord Jesus Christ. They don't have the ability to hear him, to walk in the Holy Spirit. Yes, they have a they have a filing system full of uh, theological and doctrinal understanding, but they don't have the power of the living God within them. And this is because God chooses who he will, who he wills to use uh, and for what purposes. And it has nothing to do with men. It has nothing to do with, uh, you know, going to the best seminaries or the best schools or, uh, you know, the most respected uh, type of academies um, and uh, gaining your, uh, you know, your master's degree or your doctor of divinity or your doctor of theology or even your PhD. God's working has nothing to do with any of this. The Holy Spirit, the foolish ones, the uh, 
I don't know, like Peter, the waterman type, like which I can identify with. Uh, guys, even the Apostle Paul wasn't well spoken, although he was uh, respected amongst men as a religious leader and he had education. He had some of the best education in the world, but yet he considered that all worthless. He, he would be a base for Christ, for following Christ within him. And when I see in um, church establishments, not only in being a part of a church, uh, but what I see with the clergy, uh, as opposed to the laity, uh, which is really the doctrine of a Nicolaitan, which uh, is uh, which the Apostle Paul warned people against. So um, that's why I say when I call myself Chaplain Dell or something, you know, I, I do that with some, um, uh, I don't want to say remorse, but some wanting to hold back uh, uh, and, and assigning myself a title because I believe it's a heresy uh, in following the Lord Jesus Christ in spirit. It's like I said, it's the doctrine of the Nicolaitan or the church in Galatians having started off with the spirit. You know, they go to dates and times and degrees and intellectual uh, religious things instead of walking with the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, one of the reasons I got my chaplaincy is because um, I do have a good uh, foundational understanding of the Bible and how the Lord Jesus Christ works. And I was instructed for six years uh, in these type of doctrines and uh, my Bible understanding. But more importantly, I learned to walk in the Holy Spirit of God, to, ha to hear God, to learn to listen to him and move in him. And I have discovered, quite frankly, and it, it probably was more common to have people of God in the past where God uh, worked in the church age and used men of God that did have uh, uh, intellectual and theological understandings um, and uh, were accredited more so than, uh, than I think, than or people are used today that are of God because I think God's using the foolish ones of the world to confound the wise, like, like myself, uh, or like Peter. They were no account type of uh, people uh, they weren't, uh, they weren't, um, considered, um, high up in society, but yet they walked in the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I see a complete difference between what the world respects and what God respects. Um, the Bible tells us that the Lord is not a respecters of men. He's not a respecters of titles. And uh, in my wanting to be accepted, I moved towards getting credentialing uh, simply because I thought, well, nobody will listen to me uh, unless I have some type of ministry credentialing. But the fact of the matter is that nobody's going to listen to me unless the Holy Spirit moves them to listen and hear what I'm saying. In other words, you have to have ears to hear and eyes to see uh, the type of truths that I'm attempting to put forth in my videos. And they're simple truths, but they're the simple truths of God. They're not, uh, they're not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a intellectual. I can't, uh, I can't hold my own uh, with uh, theologians, with, you know, well-versed theologians with, well, um, I don't know, uh, good public speakers, pastors that uh, that can get up there and uh, you know write out a sermon and deliver a good message, and then they got all their uh, T's crossed and their I's dotted, and they know all their uh, Bible history correctly and all this kind of thing. Um, I cannot do that in and of my own strength. But what I have discovered is, if the Lord moves through me. Um, the power of the Holy Spirit moves through me, then God brings these Bible verses and things that he has taught me in my life to my mind, and the Holy Spirit speaks it through me. And what I've noticed is um, with a lot of churchmen, when that has happened, and it's only happened a few times because I don't, 
I don't um, I I don't tend to associate myself with them anymore. But they would move back in their chair. They were stunned with the power. This is coming out of this guy. How does this guy know these things? How does this guy know so much theology? Why? Why? That's right, Roland. It's because of the power of the Lord Jesus Christ within me. And they know. They can sense that power and feel that power, but yet they reject that power because they're rejecting Christ in me. Um, it's also, they also know that uh, in and of my own power, my own flesh, and my own intel intellectual understanding, uh, it's impossible for me to be effective. So they're surprised when the Lord Jesus Christ speaks through me in his power and they're, they're shocked at my biblical and theological understanding. And it's simply because it's not me doing it, it's the Holy Spirit within me. And I'm starting to learn, I'm starting to learn the difference. And what I found is and within my life, as I've been continually rejected of men, um, specifically church men, or if you grow up in a, in a church, very well churched and indoctrinated family, uh, oftentimes, even by your own household, and I, I'd like to say especially by your own household, uh, and this is the type of things that Jesus spoke about, is uh, the ones that are closest to you will reject you. And this is because Satan uses the ones that are closest to you to try to get to you and try to sp uh, throw your spiritual walk off in the Lord. Uh, I'm going to read... Uh, the bottom here I'm going to read uh, what I what I put on the video and I'm calling this you can't make it happen Christian Bible based indoctrination versus God moving in power in your life are two completely different levels of understanding one is spiritual and the other is intellectual or theological one is done by the power of the Holy Spirit of God alone within us and the other by the flesh and outworkings of men and this is what um, I've been discovering, what the Lord's been showing me lately. And um, even on the internet, because I don't, I don't have a uh, pastoral platform or a church building like a, a lot of people that, that call themselves pastors have. Um, that's my platform for sharing the Lord Jesus Christ. And I find that even on the internet, people uh, a lot of times will see something of God in you and they want to hook their wagon to it, as uh, Brother Justin says. They want to, they recognize the power of Christ in you. They don't really understand where it's coming from, but they recognize it and they, and they want it. They want, they want that power within their life. But the problem is uh, they're not willing to follow the Lord Jesus Christ in and of themselves. They want the outworkings of the power of the Holy Spirit, but they're not willing to humble themselves enough to, uh, to be able to hear the Lord and to have the Lord working in their life because it infringes on their life, on their personal freedoms in the world. They want to make a name for themselves. They want to be a big shot um, in society. They want to be respected. And they will not humble themselves before God enough to hear his voice in their life. Now, guys like me, I got no problem humbling myself because uh, I don't have a lot to lose. I've never been a big shot in the world. I've never uh, held a, uh, you know, a respected social status. I was never the type of person that, you know, the women said, oh, he's a doctor. He's a lawyer. Let me go out with him. You know, I was a simple uh, tugboat mechanic, a simple waterfront um, uh, type of person. Uh, and, I, of course, I did... Uh, my 20 years in the military, and I was very blessed, and I loved my job on the waterfront, working on the old tugboats and all, but uh, God had another plan for me, and uh, I was talking this morning to a brother of mine about Gideon, and when Gideon, Gideon is very special to me because Gideon was the least of his households, and God raised him up in the armies, uh, what was it, 23,000? troops or something he crushed using Gideon's uh, army, a little army. And the angel said, brave warrior. And he says, what, what are you talking to me? <laughs> Not me. Find somebody else. Well, this was very important to me. Um, Gideon was very important to me because 
my name Roland Dell. I, I was praying about my name and God told me to simply take a walk. And I took a walk and I went down, I've said this before in my other videos, and I spoke to a black man on the edge of town and he went off praising God and the power of the Lord spoke through me. And uh, and I had a fit. I said, geez, God, this is really nice, but I wanted to know about my name, my name. And of course, I turned around and said, Roland Park Dell. And there was a soldier there with, a, with an angel above it. Now, this was God speaking to me, telling me who I was to him, that I was a soldier for the Lord. And a lot of people love to use that. Yes, I'm a soldier for Christ also. But my point is, are they really? Have they humbled themselves? Are they broken enough to hear the Lord Jesus Christ in their life? And what I've always found is if your heart's sensitive, sensitive enough to hear the Lord uh, speak to it, uh, that other people in the world see that as weakness. They see that as something to scoff at, something to reject. And the opposite of love, of course, is rejection because it takes emotion to hate. So the opposite of love is rejection. So what happens is with God's people who have a soft enough heart to hear the Lord Jesus Christ, they experience rejection. And the most rejection that they experience are from church people, clergy, the um, doctrine of the Nicolaitan, the clergy and laity lie. And it is a lie. That's why the apostle Paul's cor corrected them. The church in Galatians, uh, you know, the Bible's just not giving examples of this, so uh, so it makes for a good sermon sandwich on Sunday. The Bible's giving examples of this because this is how natural man operates in the world. They want power uh, in their flesh, in their intellectual understanding, especially in the Western world. But a humble man or woman of God are very humble and broken before God, and that's who God chooses to work. And what I have found is in my life, I constantly experience rejection because of the Holy Spirit within me, because of Christ within me, especially by religious people, because it threatens religious people. It threatens their security, their fire insurance to see that you have the power of the Lord Jesus Christ within you and the outworkings of God within you, and they do not. They recognize it, despite they may have years of education and theological uh, degrees. So that's what I wanted to do today, and uh, is uh, convey to people in my life that if uh, you know if you're humble enough in heart to hear the Lord, go with that because that is following the Lord Jesus Christ. That is your salvation. That is your outworking of God, not men's institutions. God bless you. And maybe I'll do another video in a few more weeks. Bye.